<laughs> yeah, just write a check. Trigger warning, this next story is extremely disturbing in its casual dismissal of human life. This is the case coming out of Seattle where a cop was caught on body cam footage laughing at the scene of a fatal student crash involving another police officer. Body cam footage has surfaced revealing a Seattle police officer callously laughing and downplaying the life of a Northeastern University student who was fatally struck by another police officer. I want you to listen to the audio and listen to how this officer um, laughed at Janavi Kandula, a 23-year-old graduate student who was thrown 100 feet into the air because she was hit by an SUV going 50 miles over the speed limit, and she later died. Went up on the hood, hit the windshield, then when he hit the brakes, flew off the car. But she is dead. <laughs> no, it's a regular person. Yeah. Yeah, just write a check. Just yeah, <laughs> what eleven thousand dollars? She was twenty six anyway. She had limited value. Now I'm going to get back to the specifics of the case, but I have to address that very last sentence. She was twenty six. She was actually twenty three, and she had limited value, according to this officer by the name of De well, actually Detective Daniel Arterer. Um, that type of thinking, that type of rhetoric, talking about the limited value of women, especially older women, is a popular conservative trope that is being passed around the men's rights activists and men's rights podcasts, right? The manosphere. This is a language coming directly from that. Now, that said, this is Detective Daniel Otterer, who's actually a drug recognition officer. He was at the scene and he concluded that this officer was laughing about the woman who had just gotten killed. Right. He's describing the incident. He's describing the scene. He was the same guy who concluded that the officer involved in the accident, Kevin Dave, was sober. I, I'm not really sure if we can take his assessment because if we hear him talk, you know very clearly there's no way in the world he would do anything against that officer because he's already laughing about the officer killing a young graduate student. Now, the body cam footage was uh, discovered just during a routine check by the Seattle Police Department, and they did release it. Um, Kandula, the student, was tragically thrown 100 feet into the air and um, died in the hospital a day later. I, I'm not sure that you need any more evidence about the type of attitude that exists in the policing agencies across this country, right? I, I'm not dare saying that this is something that we could lay at the feet of every police officer because I this is has to be some of the very worst that I've ever heard. And in fact, this individual is connected. The one that was laughing, he was talking to a union representative, a police union representative. Hey, can I just say something else here? This is why police unions are not the same as any other labor union, because they actively conspire against the rest of us. They actively conspire against the average American on behalf of the police Gestapo, on behalf of the police state. And after all this has been revealed, have, has he been fired? Nope. There has been an investigation launched by the Office of Police Accountability. Uh, and they raise concerns about the culture within the Seattle Police Department and officer accountability. You think? No, seriously, let's pause. Do you really think there's something to be concerned about?